I'm in the process of making up my acetate buffer in order to do my titrations. So I have already added the sodium acetate. So I put 2.1 grams of anhydrous sodium acetate into, my, um, into some water. So I'm making this buffer in a volumetric flask as you see here. So I've already weighed out my sodium acetate salt. I've placed it in um, a certain quantity of water. I don't fill up to the 250 mil mark yet because I have to add my acetic acid. Now, in your instruction, you're given a specific weight of acetic acid to use. So because acetic acid is normally in liquid form, as you see here, you have to determine what volume you use by the density of acetic acid. So when you get to the lab, you're going to look at your bottle of acetic acid and you're going to record the density of it, which is 1.07, 1.05, sorry. And then you're going to calculate the volume you are going to need based on the mass that you have in your directions. So the volume that I'm going to add to my um, flask right now is 1.429 mils. And since it's a um, small volume, I'm going to use a, mi a micropipeter to do this. So I'll briefly show you how to use a micropipeter. So micropipeters are used for measuring small volumes from one mil to below um, a mil. And it works with micropipeter tips. So the tips come in these containers. So you open your box with your micropipette tips and you securely place the tip onto your micropipette. Now I have already placed some of the acetic acid in this small beaker. So I'm going to use this to show you how to take out your acetic acid. So first of all, you, the micropipeter comes with these dials. So, I w so this, when you shift the dial to the one zero zero position, it tells you that you're going to be pipetting out 1,000 microliters or one mil of acetic acid. So that's the first thing. So remember, we're trying to get 1.429 mils. So in order to do that, you'll have to pipe it out one mil first, and then subsequently you'll pipe it out 429 microliters. So I move my dial until it gets to the one. See, if you notice, there's one in red, then zero, zero, which is in black. That tells you that you're at the 1,000 microliter mark. And you're going to put your pipette tip into the solution and make sure it's straight. And you're going to slowly bring the acetic acid into the tip. The first thing I want you to say is when you're pressing down, you go to the first resistance knob and then you're going to aspirate or pull your liquid up into the pipette tip. You're going to transfer this to your volumetric flask and then you're going to change the dial on your tip on your micropipeter to 429. So that means you need to go back downwards to go to 429. So 429 is on the dial here. Oh, this is seven, sorry. 400. is set so it's actually a little bit before you get to 430 so you take up your liquid and when you're placing when you're um, dispensing the liquid you press down twice so the first um, path of resistance, then you pass that and go to the second one to get your entire volume out. And that is how you use your pipette 
to measure liquids, your micropipette to measure small volumes of liquids. Now, when I have completed this, I have to make sure that I properly mix the acetic acid into my solution, into my buffer solution. So another thing that you can do to ensure that it's mixed properly is to invert it. Make sure you have a stopper placed on your volumetric flask so that your liquid won't seep out. So you gently mix. So you look at your liquid to make sure that it doesn't have any more crystals left and it looks clear. So what I'm going to do now is to add water until it gets to this mark here, which is a 250 mil mark, because this is a 250 mil volumetric flask. And then you'd have successfully made 250 mils of your acetate buffer solution.